Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Let us look behind door number 9 of our Advent calendar. Genesis chapter 22 verse 18 reads, All the nations of the earth will be blessed by your offspring, because you have obeyed my voice. If you remember this was said after Abraham had almost sacrificed Isaac. So not only was God reminding Abraham of his promise to him, but extending that promise to Isaac. The Messiah would come through the line of Isaac as opposed to the line of Ishmael. It's Numbers chapter 24 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. We also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 24 When Balaam saw that it pleased Yahweh to bless Israel, he didn't go, as at the other times, to meet with enchantments. But he set his face toward the wilderness. Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel dwelling according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God came on him. He took up his verbal and said, Balaam, the son of Behor, says, The man whose eyes are open says, He who says, who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, falling down and having his eyes open, How goodly are your tents, Jacob, and your tents, Israel, as valleys they are spread out, as gardens by the riverside, as aloes which Yahweh has planted, as cedar trees beside the waters, waters shall flow from his buckets, his seed shall be in many waters, his king shall be higher than Agag, his kingdom shall be exalted, God brings him out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of the wild ox. He shall eat up the nations as adversaries, shall break their bones in pieces, and pierce them with his arrows. He couched, he lay down as a lion. As a lioness, he shall arouse him. Everyone who blesses you is blessed. Everyone who curses you is cursed. Balak's anger burned against Balaam, and he struck his hands together. Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies, and look, you have altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now, flee you to your place. I thought to promote you to great honour. But see, Yahweh has kept you from honour. Balaam said to Balak, Didn't I also tell your messengers who sent to me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I can't go beyond Yahweh's word, to do either good or bad of my own mind. I will say what Yahweh says. Now look, I go to my people. Come, I will inform you what this people shall do to your people in the latter days. He took up his purple and said, Balaam, the son of Behor, says, The man whose eyes are open says, He says who hears the words of God, knows the knowledge of the Most High, and who sees the vision of the Almighty, falling down and having his eyes open. I see him, but not now. I see him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob, a scepter will rise out of Israel, and shall strike through the corners of Moab, and break down all the sons of Sheph. Edom shall be a possession. Seir, his enemies, also shall be a possession. While Israel does valiantly. Out of Jacob shall one have dominion, and shall destroy the remnant from the city. He looked at Ammonach, and took up his purple, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations. His latter end shall come to destruction. He looked at the Kenite, and took up his pole and said, Your dwelling place is strong. Your nest is set in the rock. Nevertheless, Cain shall be wasted, until Asher carries you away captive. He took up his pole and said, Alas, who shall live when God does this? But ships shall come from the coast of Kittim. They shall afflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber. He also shall come to destruction. Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way.